Hello my friends. In today's video, I'm going to take this sketch that I made of uh, some poppies. So I did this a long time ago. And what I've done is I wanna make a watercolor of it. So I've used some carbon paper and traced this sketch onto my Arches uh, watercolor paper, 100% cotton, cold press paper. And it's worked pretty well. All I had to do was trace the main lines and uh, I have my, my sort of my guide here. And now I'm going to do the background color first. So I wanted to do a little pale sap green um, sort of background. And then I'll go in when it's dry and do the individual petals and we'll see what that looks like. I'm just gonna try it. This page actually has a little bit of green just from my last painting here in the bottom, so it's fine. If I were to frame it, I'd probably crop it in anyway. So so let's give it a try and see how it goes. The first step I'm gonna do is to just wet everywhere around my flowers. And I'm just gonna use, um, I'll just show you the brushes I'm gonna use. I have these snap brushes, sort of an angle brush, flat one, and this size 12. When I go in to do the petals, I have this smaller size four Winsor Newton Gallery Around brush. And then I have some smaller ones as well if I wanna do some accents or highlights in the middle. I'll use my size two and then I have this really tiny one. I don't know if I'm gonna use it today, but it's like a triple, sorry, quadruple zero. So it's a very, very tiny brush. All right, so let's get started. So first I've got some water over here and I'm just going to go in and wet it all the way around. And I might work in little batches because uh, I'd like the paper to stay wet when I add the color so we can get a nice faded kind of background color. You can see it's already a little bit green and that's okay. And I'm not quite sure how far out. I don't wanna go too far out. I think I'll just do something like that. I'm going to wet it all the way around. I'm just going to be careful for these inside edges so I don't go over the petals because I don't want any green there. I'm going to, I'm thinking to make the poppies a happy pink. So I'm using uh, Daniel Smith colors today. I just got a few different tubes of pretty colors. I just want to play with them. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to go in here. I can go in with a smaller brush if I need to, but so far this is okay. If you'd like to see how I sketch some of these flowers, I do love to sketch flowers as well as paint them. Um, you can visit me on my Instagram account. I have lots of sketches there. I kind of alternate sketching in black and white with uh, watercolors. But if you'd like a tutorial on it, I don't have one yet, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to walk you through how I do that. A lot of my flower sketches are based on flower pictures I take or ones that I find online that I think are inspirational. done is I've mixed myself some sap green, very diluted. So I want it to be pretty light and it does dry quite a bit lighter too. Let's just see how this looks. We can always add a second layer if I need or if I want to. For this part here I might come in with a smaller brush too in a second. Let's spread some color everywhere first. That's a happy green. Let me know what is your favorite green in the comments. I've heard that sap green is, doesn't stay very long or it's not as permanent, someone told me once and I, I don't know. I've only been painting for a year, so a year's worth seems to last. I don't know, maybe it's not a forever color. <clears throat> but it's making me happy right now, so. Okay. I 
think it would be nice to go back in with a slightly darker green as well and have some parts a little bit darker. So let's see, while it's still wet, that's what's nice about cotton paper is that it does stay wet for quite a bit. So you can go in and add those details. The only problem is then you have to wait for it to completely dry before you do anything else. So I'm not gonna touch those petals on the inside until this green is completely, completely dry. Okay, almost done this green and then I'll go in with, let's see if I can make a slightly darker green by adding some yellow and blue to this. All right. And I just wanna smudge out the edges just a little bit more. So let's make, I do have a little bit of leftover dark green here. Let's see if I can use some of that. Just a little bit here and there. Yeah, that's nice. I think I need a little bit more though. Gives it a little bit of depth. dark green. Let's see. So I'm going to use some sap green. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but a little, a little bit of sap green. I'll add a little bit of uh, blue to this. I have like a indigo here. Yeah, a little bit of indigo. That makes it darker. It's a nice one. Oh, let's see how this looks. Oh, that's nice. Be strategic about where I put it so it's not everywhere. I'm trying to balance this side with a little bit of this green on this side. Okay. Maybe just a touch in here, but not too much. And just a tiny bit up here. Okay, I am happy with that. Now I'm just gonna go in with a small wet brush. Um, let's try this size two. Make sure it doesn't have another color on it. And just make sure I get as close to the petal. Oh, it has a little too much water. close to the petal as I can. Okay. So all I'm doing is going in, I don't need more color because I've got color here. I'm just taking it just to the edge of my line drawing so that I don't see white when I paint the petals. Okay, where else do I need it here? I think this is okay. Let's see, over here I can do a little bit getting closer. Um, yeah, I think this can go in a little bit. Close, there we go. Okay. Um, I think we're good. So now we're gonna let this dry and then we can come back in to do the petals. Now, one way you can uh, speed up the process if you're impatient, like uh, I am, I can be impatient, 
is to use a hair dryer. So I use a hair dryer a lot, especially when I do the translucent flowers. I'm just adding a little bit more of the green because it always dries much um, lighter. I think it's quite nice. And while it's wet on wet, it blends nicely. Okay. I'm gonna stop fussing <laughs> and I'll be back when this is dry. Okay, so now that it has dried, and I, I do like the way it's dried, you can see some of those darker green areas are not very dark anymore, So, but it's a nice blend of greens. What we're gonna do now is I'm using a quincridon, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, quincridon rose. <clears throat> And I'm going to do the petals in different shades of that. So some darker, some lighter, we'll see how we feel about it. So what I'm gonna do is just, again, I like doing wet on wet for these petals. And so let's just start with a petal. We'll start with this one right here. So all I'm doing is putting uh, water on it uh, within the lines of my petal. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of color and let that spread a little bit. It's a very satisfying feeling when you do that. So here we go. See, look how pretty it spreads. Okay, and we'll just take it to the edges. Okay, I think I want it a little bit darker than that. Again, it always dries lighter, so let's just add a little bit more, especially towards the base here. I think it'll look nice to be darker over here. And then just spread it out a little bit. And we can always come back in and put a darker layer if we want to later. Okay. Okay. Let's see, a little bit more over here too, I think. And around the edges. see how that dries. I'm trying to put some lines that go along the petals and I will probably add some of those details uh, when it's all dry as well. Okay, so we've got our first petal. And now we don't want to do a petal that's right beside that. We want to let that dry completely before we add a petal that's near it. But the good thing is we have three flowers so we can come and do a petal completely away from it on this flower here. Okay, so we've added some water to this petal and we can come in with our color. it. I apologize for the background noise. I am about to make dinner, so I'm preheating the oven and it's quite noisy. So we have some beginning of a petal here. Okay, I like some of those uh, changes in the color there. All right, and now we can do one over here. Let's do this big one here. 
I could have probably used a bigger brush for this one, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got it in, and let's add a little bit of color. So much fun to add the color when it's wet on wet. And get it right to those edges, and then we can spread it around. Okay. And we'll put a little bit more saturation of color right here at the edge. So I'm trying to make a little bit of petal lines that I'll add to later, but there, I like that. Okay. So let's find another petal that's not touching anything. We could do this tiny one down here, actually. It's not touching the other one. It's nice when you have the lines to just draw in. You don't have to think about it too much. I think I have a little too much water here, so. Just gonna take some of that up. Okay. I'd like to make it darker right here because that's kind of like the underside of the petal. So there. A little bit darker. Okay, good. And what else can I do? I can do this one over here. That's okay, it's gonna be pink anyway. I'm gonna leave this. Spread a little bit of water there. That's too much water. Okay. All right, now we can add a little bit more color. Especially at the edges. Okay, there we go. Now, what's next?
Okay, so now that I've finished doing all of the petals, I added some edging to the petals, like just with a fine um, paintbrush. I just did a little bit of the edges to clean them up. I did some lines uh, to mimic some of the line work that was in the drawing. And now what I need to do is this middle part of the flowers with tiny little dots. And I'm going to do them in, I think, Payne's Gray. We're gonna see if that works. And using a size zero and my very tiny brush as well to see which one works better. So I'm just going to mix, um, I have a little bit here. I think this is the gray here, yep. Okay, and I have to be careful because I don't want to overwhelm it. I just want to do tiny little dots, let's see. Let's start with this one because it's the furthest one and I won't like put my hand on it afterwards. So I'm gonna do tiny little dots. That. We want a lot of them, but all of them tiny. Okay, I think this is good. Just take your time with this part. We don't want blobs. And I'm just following what I see in my drawing, taking it all the way down. I'm going to do a few little lines like that. take it all the way down to here, take a little more paint, Good. we want lots and lots of dots, okay. Step back and look at it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. And now we're gonna do the dots over here. So again, lots and lots of little tiny dots. So I'm using the size zero. That seems to be a good size for this. all the way around. And we want the lines to come starting from here maybe. Okay, lots more dots. There we go, a few more lines to connect it. And we might even want to make it go up a little bit more. Step back and look. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then we've got our last one here. And this one is more of a controlled little, like this. Okay. A couple of lines to take it in.
Okay, I like that. It doesn't have to look exactly like my sketch. That's just an inspiration, but just want to put a few more lines in there. Okay, that's looking nice. And now I just want to do the stems. And the stems I want to do, um, I'm going to mix a bit of a dark green. Have the dark green that I used earlier actually. Maybe I can use that, but I kind of want to make it a little bit darker. So I think what I'll do is I'll do the dark green with a little bit of the Payne's gray in there. Okay, so then that's quite dark. And I want it to be very, very thin. So let's see if we can make it very Okay, like that thin. And we'll just do a little bit here. Okay. And then this one coming up from here. Okay. Good, almost done. Last one. I've got this one here. Okay. Okay, because this one's a little thicker, I kind of want this one. Be just a little bit thicker, just to match. Okay, there we go. And I think we are, I think we're done. I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, please like, share this with your friends. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to show you how to do the sketch. And I can try to do a little tutorial on that as well. Thank you and see you next time.